Good morning from Chiang Mai and welcome to this edition of Secret Chiang Mai. I'm here outside the visitor centre of an area just to the south of town called Wiang Kum Kam and it dates, it actually predates the city of Chiang Mai and I'll explain a little bit about the history as we're going around but there's several ruined temples dotted around quite a big area. I'll show you on the map exactly how big this area is and where we're going to visit today. Right over my right shoulder you can see, and if you can see them there, they've got some buses which go around the main sites or you can take a horse and cart. <laughs> so let's go and explore what there is to see here because it's quite a fascinating area uh, and I'll explain some of the history as we're going around as well. So we're just about to enter the uh, information centre here and this will explain the uh, history of Wiang Kung Kam as I'm going around. Under the law, the Mangai Code of Law, 
contributed greatly to the richness and contentment of life in the kingdom. With his great intelligence, gracious benevolence toward the kingdom and subjects he ruled, by his efforts and dedication in accomplishing his kingly task, King Mangra, the founder of Lana Kingdom, produced a realm that was exceptionally peaceful, stable, and prosperous in his time. So that was a short video all about uh, King Mengrai. This is a statue of him. And as it said, he's the one who founded Wiang Kung Kam. These are some of the artifacts that they found in the area here. Unfortunately, it's been um, renovated and I can't actually go in, but this is the best I can do. So we've got a map here of the site of uh, Wiang Kum Kam. I don't know if this is going to come out very well because there's obviously reflection. Uh, but we're here in the visitor centre. And then this is the Ping River. And then one of the main temples, which is still active and still um, uh, not a ruin, is there marked number one, which is Shedi Liam. And then you've got all these other uh, ruins which are scattered all over this area. So yeah, you can take a, a horse and... what are they called? Horse and trap. <laughs> Horse and cart. I'm surprised they got so many horses here because obviously tourism's been down quite a bit in recent times. So. <laughs> They're having breakfast, I think. So we're now at the main temple that's still active within Wiang Kum Kam. This is Wat Shedi Liam. And Liam means uh, squared pagoda. So it's Temple of the Squared Pagoda. And this dates back to about 1287 when King Mengrai was obviously around. And it's actually based on a much earlier example uh, in today's Lampoon. So the Shedi features five layers, five levels, and on each level there's 12 niches, three on each side. So there's a total of 60 Buddha statues which you can just make out here, all the way up to the top. I'll just zoom in a bit. It's a pretty unique uh, stupa. So Wiang Kum Kam once had its own moat as well, which protected the settlement. And we're just going to explore a couple of ruined temples, which are inside, just inside, they're just through that gap there. But this is the moat. It's 
There's always banging noise going around, even though it's meant to be a peaceful place. So this is what Ikang, Ikang means monkey, apparently, in Thai. And even though there's no monkeys here now, only stray dogs, uh, there were monkeys here when they were excavating this, this site. So hence its name. So we're now in uh, another active temple, right in the heart of uh, Wang Kung Kam, and this is what Chang Kam, as it says here. It should be known as Temple of the Dogs because I set all the dogs off.
So we're now on the southern side of Wian Kum Kam. And this is the, the ditch, the moat, whatever you want to call it. I think there used to be, once upon a time, a wall that went round. But here, there's another temple. And you can see this one is flooded. It's flooded quite a lot by the looks of it. That's really quite deep. So now you can see why Wian Kum Kam was uh, abandoned. Because it kept doing this. Kept flooding. So we're now at this last temple, which is on the side of the busy 106 road that comes out of uh, Chiang Mai. This is it. We're just sort of entering an area called uh, Sarapi. But yeah, as the information board said, this is linked to Wian Kum Kam, and it's going to be our last stop today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, then give me a big thumbs up and why not subscribe to my channel down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.